Nancy J with the Celebrity Spotlight on location in Las Vegas, David Copperfield's museum. He's now a movie star because he is in the incredible Burt Wonderstone, but I'm going to now magically make the other stars appear. Did you play with magic as a kid? I did. I had a Mattel magic kit when I was a kid, and uh, it had probably 10 or 15 tricks, and I, uh, from time to time, would do a little show for the other kids in the neighborhood. So, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of kids did that and are fascinated by it. But what is it about magic that makes us turn into children again, even as adults? It's like Santa Claus. It's much more fun to believe in it than to not. It's much more fun to embrace it and to uh, and let yourself, even for a moment, believe in the impossible. And and that, to me, is is what magic is about. What drew you to this magical project? I just think it's a really funny thing to send up, magic, you know? Uh, I just, you know, have always been frustrated by it <laughs> because, you know, I don't know what's going on and I'm not smart enough to figure it out. Uh, so, you know, that's immediately something that I want to, you know, kind of attack in a fun way. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I've just, I've hired a couple of magicians to like work parties and stuff that never left me alone, you know, and uh, uh -huh. they, they really can be qu kind of annoying. So you don't know any magic yourself? Uh, not a thing, no. Seriously? No, nope, no. Nope. Nothing. Well, the interesting Nothing. I didn't learn anything from the movie. It's amazing. Nothing so. <laughs> yeah, see, that's how I'm different from other actors. Other actors usually take something with them. Not me. And not you. Nope. Welcome to the amazing world of magic. Wow. <laughs> Everyone loves a magician, and they'll love you too. Do you want to be my partner? More than anything. And I'm Anton Marvelson. But of course, you already knew that. Your ticket sales suck. <laughs> what? Steve Gregg, they're calling him the future of magic. This guy's a magician. He doesn't even have a costume. I'm sure you've seen people walk on red hot coals, but I doubt you've seen anyone spend the night on red hot coals. You need to do something fresh. So this is where old entertainers go to die. Mm hmm And so I'm not so old. May I see that for a minute? Watch this. <laughs> what have you done? I'm a magician. Should have explained that to you earlier. You're Rance Holloway. I had your magic kit as a kid. I'll give you your money back. What you're feeling right now, that's why you became a magician. How did you do that? I was partially deboned. What you do is not magic. It's natural for a dying leaf to be frightened by the autumn wind. Your skin makes me cry. The <laughs> hair thing, though, was interesting. Now, that, it looked re Thankfully, movies have gotten more sophisticated. It's amazing it how like a wig can make you feel kind of cool, you know? <laughs> did, it make you, did it make you feel different? Yeah, yeah it did. I mean, uh, we had a completely different character planned, and then, you know, I saw, you know, Ann Morgan, the hair person on the, on the movie, my, my hair person for a lot, of, a lot of films, came in with this wig, and I said, we got to give this a try. Just one try, and uh, we put it on, and it changed the character three hundred, you know, one hundred and eighty. I did a complete one hundred and eighty, mm -hmm. and and uh, it was amazing because I said, "This is a different guy." You know, Don Scardino said, "I love this. Who is this?" <laughs> and I said, "Well, he's a completely different guy. This is the guy that's a complete head tripper, who is kind of a Svengali, you know, mind freak, and he uh, he really, you know." kind of looks at everybody as if they're so simple that they amuse him, you know? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I that like he knows that. it all. But what is it about illusion and magic that makes us all in turn into a little kid again? We know we're going to be duped. We know it's a trick. Yeah, But yet, yeah. we believe. We like to be fooled, for sure. We like to be fooled. We like to be amazed. We like to believe that there's something magical in the world, you know? And, uh, you know, that's why I wore this jacket. Today is an amaze you. Look for the incredible Burt Wonderstone in your real-time theater.